So at some stage, I've got to make a decision based on the amount of demand that's coming in, based on some set of criteria as to which one of these services will go through and actually be built and deployed and run. Most organisations, the way that this actually happens is that the services get chosen based on either the political clout of the line of business that's trying to get the service delivered, whoever speaks, uh, speaks loudest about it, whoever shouts the most, or whoever knows how to work the system the best. And if you think about this, this is really not a good way of analysing which business services get built and delivered, because oftentimes some of these business services won't just stack up against one another, yet we go and build them, we take up resources, we spend money on it, and when we roll it out, we're not getting any value for it. So what we really want to do as part of our service portfolio management is to be able to have the ability to look at all this demand that's coming in and then rate it evenly. So what I want to do is be able to have a set of criteria that I can rate each one of these different business services, different pieces of demand again, and come up and make value fact-based decisions on which one I should actually go and build. Not by based on political alignment, who has the most money, but on the values of business moving forward. We in IT often have a issue with understanding value to the business. In IT, we generally will talk in terms that IT understands, which is to do with service levels, transaction throughput, availability. These can all generally be grouped up into quality attributes. In IT, we generally understand things that we can instrument and measure and monitor. When we talk to the business, and here's an interesting thing, I honestly believe that most IT organisations talk to other people in IT about what they think the business wants. One of our real issues is that we don't in IT go out and talk to the real business often enough. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is that m most organisations, the real business doesn't have a very high regard of IT. They think it's a cost center. They don't see the value that they get out of it and all they see is the amount of money that they keep getting pumped into it. I had a very interesting conversation at a conference where a smaller organisation, they had a mix of business type get together and someone sat, stood up from the business side and said, you guys have four people on your help desk, what do the other 116 on IT do? And this is a common thread through the business. They don't understand what we do, they don't understand the value. So all of a sudden, we now got to start adding a bit of value. And the way we start adding a bit of value is helping understand what the different values of the business metrics are. The business doesn't talk about availability or those quality type things. If I'm a financial organisation, the business talks about increasing percentage market share. It talks about increasing mortgages. It talks about increasing customers. It talks about decreasing churn. These are the business metrics that when someone puts together a business case to say I need to get up one of these new business services here, they need to talk in business terms. We in IT now have to talk in business terms because if we want to become a partner and integrate it in the fabric have the business done business, we need to understand how they do things. Service portfolio management in the demand stage it is responsible for going and analysing and looking to optimise that strategic and tactical demand that's coming in. So what then happens is that we will have a even playing field for identifying which business services go through. And if we then start using this criteria against these services, it may change the decision in which services go through. Because I now have a common value set criteria, I may say, go, this one business doesn't go through, this one does, this one now goes through, this one gets postponed, and this one gets postponed. We only have a small amount of finite resources that, that we can use to go and deliver these services. So 
So by determining with the business which one has the most business value, we can start managing our strategic demand. One of the killers of most IT organizations is on-data demand. We just have too much demand coming through. We throw all the resources and time at delivering that demand, and we never actually understand what value we're presenting at the end of that. So service portfolio management, the first phase of it is my demand or pipeline management where I need to analyze and optimize the business services that I am going to build. Now, the next task is where I need to go and once I've decided what those business metrics are, once